All right, it's uh, Monday, May 11th, and this is a look at the Altos Research U.S. real estate market data that came in over the weekend. After a month of home price increases, we're starting to see the headlines pick up the message. The real estate market, at least in terms of valuation, is actually leading the economy forward at this point. This week continues the trend. Prices are up on surprisingly resilient demand in the ultra low inventory that we've been talking about. It As we noted last week, the new listings volume, in this case, the top chart, is starting to loosen up as states remove some restrictions. New listings this week climbed to over 63,000. That's still 40% lower than normal than uh, for this time of year, but it's the highest since mid-February, so at least we're getting some action. What's fascinating is that transaction volume continues to outpace new supply, so our total inventory fell this week to only 731,000 single-family homes on the market for the whole country. We talked last week about the potential for the almost 4 million mortgages that are in the forbearance process to add to inventory. This wouldn't happen through before the end of June, likely. And uh, we're keeping our eye out for any signs of that supply hitting the market. But interestingly, because there's a foreclosure moratorium right now, this is actually contributing to the limiting the available supply of homes. Just in January, mortgages, mortgage delinquencies were at their lowest levels ever. Uh, but there are normally thousands of foreclosures happening each month, and then those come to the active inventory set. But that's not happening right now. So it's just another thing keeping a lid on the active inventory levels. As a result, home prices had strong week over week gains again. Median home prices up to 335,000, up from 329.9 last week. It's a 3% gain over a month ago in April, uh, which is normal for April. Like that, those are normal price gains. We're down 1.2% from last year at this time. So this is just remarkable to me. You can see from the orange line on the chart here, the surge that we have. Uh, May is typically the peak of that new listings cohort pricing. That is, they're coming to market uh, that will be on in June for summer sale. The spring is peaking now. This is, so some of our price growth is normal seasonal effect. Though this is happening across all price points, even the top quartile is now at two four or 849, which is just a hair below its February peak of 850. So we have to feel good about the the data at this point. The we keep actually being challenged on the data from incredulous investor types. You know, how can we possibly have a 15% unemployment but the housing market climbing? Well, we know inventory is record low and we know that the hardest hit homeowners have the relief program strongly in their favor. That's the forbearance programs and the, and the foreclosure moratoriums. So it also seems as though demand hasn't suffered, housing market demand hasn't suffered because most of the hardest hit Americans had already been more or less locked out of the real estate market, nine years of climbing home prices have made ownership for that segment of the population very difficult. And those are the people that are hardest hits right now. Uh, next week, if we are lucky, we'll see the new listings volume climb again. 
and we'll continue to get some of the transaction volume increase. So stay tuned for that. Uh, stop by altosresearch.com uh, for more on the data or if you need a free consult to see how it works in your business. Uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel at Altos Research for the weekly updates. Stay tuned because, man, things are wild out there.